So you wanna make your ceiling fan smart, but you're not exactly sure where to start or what might work best for your fan or your current setup. Honestly, these days it seems to be getting more and more confusing actually, as we have different fans, different switches, all kinds of stuff out there. With many ceiling fan motors being DC powered, you also have AC powered fans, fans with remotes, fans with single or double wall switches, and any combination of the above. So I'll break it all down today and show you what is the best option for you based on your current fan or setup. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy Apple home, smart home with new videos and live streams published every week. All right, so I recently installed a total of five, maybe six different ceiling fans throughout my house, all of which you know I had to make smart and connect to my Apple Home setup. I've also done the same thing for one or two friends recently, so this has definitely been a relevant topic for me lately. Even with my pretty decent understanding of smart home connectivity and my ability to install ceiling fans, I still found myself a little bit confused at times as to what would be the best option and what might work best for my setup or my friend's setup. Now there are actually, you know, pretty big factors that I didn't even realize were factors until recently regarding compatibility of fans and stuff. So I figured I'd share everything I've learned today and hopefully help some of you out there who may also want to make your ceiling fan smart. First, let's send some love to today's sponsor, Best Buy. As we are quickly approaching the holiday shopping season, don't forget to check out the Best Buy weekly and daily top deals. There are some great savings there and you can always find the best prices thanks to their price match guarantee. You can even save more with exclusive member prices on thousands of products plus additional perks like 24 seven tech support, free two day shipping and much more by becoming a Best Buy total member. Now I've spotted everything from TVs to appliances to routers, even smart home products in the daily and weekly top deals. I've seen great deals on brand name robot vacuums, uh, smart home cameras and just so much more. My wife and family knows that me in a Best Buy is kind of like a kid in a candy store. So having the top deals that I can check out anytime I want online with free fast shipping or in-store pickup is a beautiful thing. Check out the link below in the description to see the current top deals. And thanks again to Best Buy for sponsoring today's video. So let's discuss all the options to make your ceiling fan smart and the possible setups or scenarios. Areas. Now I do have chapters below in case you need to skip around to any certain part. Disclaimer, I am not a certified or professional electrician in any shape or form. So do keep that in mind, but I have changed a lot of smart light switches and fan switches and ceiling fans and stuff like that. So, um, you know, just keep that in mind. But if you're ever uncomfortable or unsure, certainly consult a professional electrician. In fact, I would recommend doing that anyways. I have done that myself. Uh, more than once uh, to make sure I'm doing things right or if I ever have any questions or things like that or just have them do it completely if you're not sure where to begin. Let's take a look at the fan itself. There are smart ceiling fans out there, but there really aren't many that support Apple Home, if that's something you're into like me. On top of that, if you have a wall switch that you use currently to control your fan and you would like to continue to use that wall switch, a smart fan is probably not the best option. It operates much like a smart bulb, you know, in that sense, uh, meaning every time somebody turns off the switch at the wall, it will kill the smart home connection and all your automations and stuff like that for your fan. So for this reason, and because my wife would probably just flip those switches, mess up my automations just to drive me crazy, I typically prefer using a smart switch if at all possible. That also allows you to kind of essentially be able to use any smart ceiling fan you want so you're not limited to a certain, you know, style or type just because it has smart home connectivity. You can use any dumb, you know, ceiling fan that you want. Now we will definitely come back to switches more in a minute, but do know that if you have a ceiling fan without a wall switch, or you're fine with you know never using the wall switch in the future, then a smart ceiling fan could be a good option for you. 
you know, this will give you on off capability and should also give you speed control in Apple Home, for example, or whatever smart home ecosystem you use. But otherwise, I do usually recommend not using a smart fan or using that smart home capability that might be built into the fan, at least if you have a wall switch that you wanna keep using. That leads us to smart switches. Now, there's really two options here. Uh, a number of on off switches, you know, just simple on off will work with smart fans, or you can go with a smart fan switch or fan controller, kind of like a dimmer for your fan. So this not only will give you on off control, but also speed control of your fan. And there's a number of different ones out there, you know, made by different brands, such as Lutron Caseta, Maris, Leviton, probably others. Most of these, uh, if not all of these, do require a neutral wire though, so do be aware of that in order to connect to your fan. So just make sure you have that available, you know, in your switch box. And if you do want to use, you know, a dedicated fan controller switch, you will need an existing wall switch that controls only your ceiling fan. So can't control the ceiling fan and the light. Uh, most modern houses, at least in the US, are built this way, I think. I, you know, you usually do see a separate switch for the light and a separate, you know, another one for the fan. That's how my house is set up. So I actually always thought it would be pretty easy to make this smart, right? Just get any ceiling fan that I want, install a smart switch like the Lutron fan controller switch or any fan controller switch, and I'd be good to go, right? Wrong. <laughs> Not all fans will work with these fan controller switches as I have recently discovered. So what fan do you buy? Or will your existing fan work with a smart fan switch? Ceiling fan motors can either be AC powered, which is probably the more you know common typical type, or they can be DC powered. Nowadays, we're seeing more and more DC powered ceiling fans. Now, ideally, if you plan to use a smart switch for your fan, you'll want an AC powered fan, if at all possible. This will allow you to have speed control at the switch and through your smart apps and stuff. AC powered fans should have, again, no problem working with your smart switches or smart fan controllers. Now, if your AC powered fan comes with a remote, I will usually just disregard that little receiver that you install you know, in the ceiling canopy. You can basically disregard this and wire the ceiling fan and light directly to the ceiling. So for me, this just makes things a little bit easier since you can control the fan speed using your smart home. I would just rather not have the remote you know, available to make things more complicated. So I usually just disregard that altogether. If your fan comes with a remote, the receiver will look something like this. If the receiver is slightly different and looks something like this, the wiring from this one, then you probably have a DC powered fan. Now, as mentioned, more and more fans now are DC powered. You should also be able to see if a fan motor is DC powered labeled on the box somewhere, although it may be hard to find. Now, again, if you intend to use a smart fan controller switch at the wall, I would go with an AC powered fan if at all possible. If not possible, well, then we do have some options here still, just not as ideal. Two of my recent fan installations were DC fans. The big fan for my living room and an outdoor rated fan for my back porch are both DC powered. The big issue with the DC powered motors is that you cannot bypass the little receiver device like we did with the AC powered fans because that is needed to convert the AC power to DC power for your fan motor. And uh, you know, those smart dimmer like switches, the fan control switches that give you the speed control will not work with DC powered motors. So here's what I did. For the ceiling fan light, I did bypass that receiver in the ceiling. So if your fan has a light built in, there should be a single wire labeled light. You can wire that directly to the ceiling, you know, where your wires come out there. And again, this is all as long as you do have separate wiring, you know, separate switches and wiring for two switches, one for the light and one for the ceiling fan. Then I wire up the ceiling fan motor as instructed in the product manual using the receiver device. That will get connected to the second load wire coming out of the ceiling for the second switch. Now, one light switch should turn on and off the light and the other should turn on and off the fan. For the light, you should be able to use any smart switch or dimmer. So that's nice. 
Now for the fan though, you will not be able to use a dimmer or a fan controller switch like the Lutron Caseta fan controller. The only option here is for a smart switch or a relay with just a simple on off capability, no dimming. Uh, and again, that's because this is controlling a DC powered fan motor. I actually reached out to Lutron to see what they suggest regarding DC powered fans with their Lutron Caseta products. And um, this is basically what they told me also is the best option. It's unfortunate because I can't control the speed of the fan this way through Apple Home or through the Lutron app, but um, you know, at least I can turn it on and off via smart home control automations and you know, manually at the wall, which is important to me. Plus I'm able to separate the light and the fan to two separate switches at the wall. Then if you ever want to adjust the speed of the fan, you'll just have to use the remote for that. Now, what about those of you who have a single wall switch that controls both the ceiling fan and the light together? Or what if you have one of those weird single gang combo switches with the dial or dimmers like that? All right, well, if you have only a single switch that controls them both, there is not much you can do on the switch side to split them and give you independent control of the light and the fan, short of, you know, running new wires for a whole new switch from, you know, the light to the wall. Your best option here may be to use some sort of relay installed directly in the ceiling fan. I did this recently at a friend's house that only had a single switch to control the fan and the light. Using the new Akara T2 dual relay, I was able to split the fan and the light and control them independently through the app or Apple Home, which is awesome. There are other relays out there that would also work and uh, you know, some of which I have not tried. Some I've heard will even allow for fan speed control through the relay, uh, so you might wanna look into that. Uh, if you do use the Akara T2 relay, it will just be a simple on-off control of both the light and the fan. Regardless of any relay that you use here, if that fan is still wired to a switch, like in the case of my friend's house, the switch can always be cut off, which would kill the connection to your relay, which is not good. So you'll want to either wire that switch to be always hot or cover it up, you know, so no one uses it. I actually found a way around this that still gives me a physical wall switch. So what I did is wire it in the switch box to be always hot. Then I just use a double rocker switch as a wireless switch and use automations to control the light and the fan uh, that way. So I did a whole video on this. I'll link it up somewhere up here and also down in the description if you wanna check that out next. Now, if you have separate wiring for your light and fan, but using one of those combo type switches with the dials or dimmers, you might wanna look at something like the Maris fan light switch. So this does still require separate switch wiring for the fan and the light, but will allow you to use both in a single gang footprint, dimming control for the light and fan speed control for the fan. My favorite wall switches to use are Lutron Caseta, but there are a number of other options out there. That Akara T2 relay can also be used behind the wall switches to automate your fans or light switches without having to change the actual switches, you know, to a different style. So maybe you have some unique, you know, style of switches that you wanna keep using. Just another option if you wanna go that route. Although it sometimes seems as complicated as ever to automate our ceiling fans with all of the options and configurations out there, it's also most likely possible thanks to the variety of smart home devices and tools that we have, uh, you know, regardless of your setup. It might just require a little bit of extra thought and planning and kind of looking into your existing wiring and setup. A big shout out to all my channel members that continue to support me each month. Uh, it's because of you I'm able to continue making these videos. Our conversations and your suggestions in the Discord server is what inspired this video and also helped me in figuring out some of this on my own smart home journey. You know who you are. Thanks again to all you guys. And hopefully this helped some of you out there watching as well. If you're not a member and would like to support the channel further and get access to our members only Discord server, click that join button below for more details. Thanks again to Best Buy for sponsoring today's video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.